neutral side action, and we're just about ready for kickoff. And now we bring you the coin toss, and it's presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Western Kentucky. Western Kentucky is ready to open this one up as they line up for the opening kick. He'll return it from the three. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. Fires quickly and it's picked off. And down he goes around the 19-yard line. Spectacular play there by the linebacker to come away with that interception. I don't even think the quarterback saw him on that play. He was right there waiting for the ball. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 19-yard line. He scrambled. Inside the 10. Huge play, and it's going to be first and goal. A good quarterback knows when and how to improvise. And if he's got the skills, he can also turn a scramble into something big. It's first down. So inside the five with a first and goal. Touchdown, Western Kentucky. It takes a lot of strength to run it when you're heading into a massive pile of bodies. Good job of holding on to it and getting it across the goal line. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A quick two-play, 19-yard drive, and the result, seven points. They line up to kick this one away. He's to the 20, and he's taken down at the 22-yard line. The Hilltoppers are right where they want to be early in this one, partner. Well, this is what their coach talked about, getting off to a great start. The defense did their job, and it's nice to see the offense move the ball down the field and also get some points on the board. The offense comes out to start this drive, and they're hoping for a better result as they threw a pick on their last possession. I look for the offense to come out with the same game plan as before. You don't make changes after one play. Slings it. He's to the 40. He's taken down at the 42. He is such a reliable target. You throw it anywhere near him, and this guy's going to get his hands on it and make a catch. He's going to be sacked for a loss. Oh, that is a big hit on the quarterback. That's one of those as an offensive lineman. When the film study starts to come around, you're going to kind of sink in your chair and just hope they don't call you out because you're going to get embarrassed on Monday on that one. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. He's scrambling. And he shoved out of bounds at the 40. Well, they didn't get the first down, but it was still a pretty good run by the quarterback. He made a good decision to take off there. Completes it, but he can't shake the defense. Nice gain, but not enough for the first down. Yeah, that's a nice play there. They did everything right except get enough yards for the first down. This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. Western Kentucky is up seven. complete and taken down immediately. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Little 
handoff. Makes it out to about the 36. The reason why it's so crucial to be able to run effectively like this is it keeps the defense guessing. They have no idea whether you're passing or running, even if you need medium to long range yards. Now he's flushed and they got it. Defense looking for another sack in the second down and long situation. He's brought down in the open field. seven-yard line. It was a good job of the quarterback of recognizing the blitz and getting the ball out of his hands for a first down. But at the same time, I like the call from the defensive coordinator. He blitzed not one, but both cornerbacks. you got to love that aggressive call. Now he tries to buy some time. Room around the corner. There he goes. He gets hit out of bounds at the 38-yard line. First and ten. Ball on the 38. Western Kentucky up seven points. And they make the stop at the 38. And this play is number eight on the drive. down around the 35 yard line and once again they'll come to the line try to convert on third down and he's tackled at the positive yardage and this is the tenth play of the drive Gonna try and scramble. Tackle at about the 19 yard line. Short yardage situation here. Second down and one. Just throws this one away. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. And he hits him hard at the 11-yard line. From the 11-yard line, first down. pickup and this is the 14th play of the drive Western Kentucky is up a score inside give he's tackled right around the four yard line not a lot of offense in quarter number one but nonetheless we've got a close game the Hilltoppers in front 7-0 to the action now here in the second quarter. The quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Zips it to his receiver. Touchdown. And he adds 
the extra point. A long 15 play, 81 yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. This defense has everything. They kind of have that blue-collar, workmanlike approach, but they also have a blend of tremendous speed to go along with that work ethic. And the better they play, they seem to feed off of it, and it continues throughout the whole ballgame. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. Here's a screen pass. Gets it to the back. And they push him out at the 40-yard line. The defense saw a clear path to the quarterback and got a little too wide-eyed there. They need to watch the over-pursuit and play with more discipline. Gets out to around the 48. That makes it second and two. Tackled for a loss. Six yards setback. Well, that play was sort of out of sync from the start, but you have to also recognize that the defense made a great play. They read it from the get go. Third down now, and they need to get it out to the 50. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. There's a strike complete. That's a great tackle at the 48. They come out in a five-wide set. And he's level at the 47-yard line. That brings up second and nine. Tackle made at the 30. They come out on an empty backfield. Pressure coming and the ball is loose. It's picked up. They'll bring him down around the 39-yard line. This is the eighth play of this drive. Hey, we gotta get stop here, They'll spread the field with five wide. Complete. He's got room. And he's tackled at the 20. He's scrambling. They bring him down. Well, we talked all week with these coaches, and even when we met with them yesterday out of practice, they told us there were some big concerns about facing these defensive ends. They thought that they might be able to hold up against it, maybe get the ball out of the pocket a little bit quicker, maybe use running backs and tight ends to help with double teams on the outside. But right now, whatever they thought they might be able to do, they better get back to that drawing board because these defensive ends are just too quick. So the sack makes this a second and long. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Throws it into coverage, and it's intercepted. Brad, I'm going to put that one on the quarterback. I think he's forcing the issue out there. I understand you're down a couple scores, and you're trying to get back into the game, but you can't get it all back at once. You've got to be patient, take your time, and methodically work yourselves back as a team back into this game. He's out to the 30. Makes it to the 41. Nothing tentative on that run at all. He looked very determined and got the first down. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 41. He 
He's at midfield. And he is drilled at the 50. tied in the whole way, but the defense didn't expect it. Sometimes those big guys can fool defenders into thinking they're blocking. It's first and ten. Ball on the 36. And they get nice yardage on that run. That brings them second and five. with room to work. And he tackles him hard at the 22. From the 22-yard line. First down. Maybe a yard on that completion. Doesn't look like this defense is going to let him beat him with the deep passes. So they'll allow those short completions to the tight end. Strike to the receiver. Around an eight-yard pickup on the slant route from the quarterback. That'll bring up third and two. This is the ninth play of this drive. Call on the field goal unit here. He gets it up, and the field goal is good. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Things are on the verge of getting out of hand before we even hit the half. These next few drives are going to go a long way in determining what kind of game this will end up being. Good outside run there. Seven yards there on that bit of misdirection. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Dumps it complete to the halfback over the middle. And down he goes at the 36-yard line. So they complete that for about four yards, and they'll pick up a first down. Nothing special here. Quick pass and a good catch, but it keeps the chains moving. It was a great read by the quarterback there to take the snap and throw it quickly to get the first. He heaves it deep. That close to being intercepted. So at the end of the half, the Hilltoppers in front, 17-0. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. The first half was a complete mismatch. We did not expect a margin like this 
now the question becomes, not only are you down on the scoreboard, David, but you're down mentally. What kind of toll does a beating like this team took in the first half have on your psyche? Well, when you come into a game and, and you're favored or it's supposed to be a really close contest and then all of a sudden you start getting kicked around, I think the first thing is, do I belong? <laughs> Am I really as good as I thought I was? And they got a second half to come out and prove it. But right now, they've had no answers whatsoever. Everything has gone the other way. Everything's gone poorly. Everything's gone bad. So if they're going to turn this around, they better start believing that they belong and come out in the second half and start making some plays. We've done what we can do here at halftime. Time to get you back out to the second half. We'll keep an eye on everything going on in college football. Brad Nestler and Kirk Herbstreit ready with a call. All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. You know, they practiced all week this week, and they told us yesterday, Brad, that they felt pretty good about what they put in, the plan that they had. And I think now that you see them playing today, it's no wonder they felt so good. They are ready to begin another drive. Scrambled. He's taken down right around the 30. That brings him second and five. Second and five. Ball on their own 30. Gains his way to the 40-yard line. Completes it, and he's hit hard immediately. From their own 43-yard line, it's second down. it out to maybe the 46 yard line. Gains his way to the 46 yard line. Just a simple draw play there, but they picked up some big yards. From the 46 yard line. It's first down. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Slings it, and he's taken down at the 35-yard line. Fires across the middle. And they make the stop at the 22-yard line. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 22. Nice run there. That makes it second and six. It's the ninth play of the drive. Inside the 10. Touchdown, Hilltoppers. He got the handoff and knew exactly what to do with it. They like the fact that they have a halfback who can pick his way so well through defenses. And he tacks on the extra point. A nine-play, 75-yard drive, and it's good for seven points. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He'll return it from the six. 
and he's taken down at the 25-yard line. The Hilltoppers continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Passes to the back, incomplete. Boy, that was a rocket. If the receiver didn't come down with it, quarterback made sure nobody else was going to come down with it either. From their own 25-yard line, second down. Now he tries to buy some time. Brought down at the 31-yard line. The quarterback trying to make a play. Well, he did a nice job of getting some yards there on the scramble, but he needs to learn to slide to avoid those big hits. He's going to try and scramble. Looks like he's going to run. It's on the ground. It's scooped up. Tackle around the 46-yard line. A lot of guys in the defensive backfield are ball hawks, and the safety showed it there by pouncing on the football. And we see this offense again after what you, Kirk, call a very physical touchdown drive. Well, I say that, Brad, because the big hog mollies up front were able to create holes for the running game, and it helped them get the score. Let's see if they can do it again. He fights forward to about the 49. Second down and seven. Ball on the 49-yard line. Hands it off. He gets to about the 41-yard line. the middle for a nice game. That makes it second and six. It's second down, six yards to go. Ball on the 37. He's tackled at the 35. Pitches it. He's got the corner. Gets to about the 34-yard line. It's fourth down, and the offense is getting set to go for it. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Got a man, and it falls to the ground. The defense holds, and the ball will change hands. Last time the offense had it, they lost a fumble. So I'm pretty sure the coaching staff was over there talking about ball security. Sometimes when you lose the football, you start to focus a little bit more. So a turnover can actually work out in your favor. Tackle made right around the 36-yard line. That's good for the game two yards. That makes it second and eight. One more quarter to play. The Hilltoppers with a 24-point lead. Back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. Bring him down around the 47 yard line. Number 19, on the tackle. 
He's hit and taken down. And he hits him hard at the 33. That's a great tackle at the 25. Caught open field out of bounds at the 24. in a hurry. Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. That makes it first and goal. Here's the eighth play of the series. They're back in the red zone where they have really struggled lately. Scrambling around. And he's tackled Ooh. at about the five-yard line. That's a deal. Not over here. That brings him second and goal. The quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Touchdown. So the halfback took it in for six. Simple play call there by the offensive coordinator. Just give it to the back and let him find his way into the end zone. Well, they're going to try for the two-point conversion. clenched it. And that's a really strong effort by the hands team to make sure they came away with the football. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. And they'll get him in the backfield. Number 85 was the intended receiver on the play. That'll bring up second and 11. From the 43-yard line, it's second down. Less than three minutes in the game. He's at the 30. He's at the 20. He's knocked out of bounds around the nine-yard line. down and they've got their eyes on that goal line. took their first time out from the four-yard line. Second down. He's got the corner. And down he goes at about the three-yard line. A one-yard gain by the halfback. The Warhawks use their second time out. They've got their goal line sets on the field. This might be a good time for play action. He's going to run for the end zone, and he doesn't get in. 
The offense knows that the linebackers are cheating up a little bit on the run. If they can get some protection, they might want to open up a little bit of space for some passes underneath. The kick is up, and it sails through the uprights. Western Kentucky is lining up to kick this one off. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. It's a new possession for this offense, so what will it hold? Three down, three down. Just oh. under two to go in the game. Caught, and he's hit immediately. No game. That makes it second and ten. Spikes the ball. From their own 25-yard line. Third down. Mike Four, Mike Four. Here we go. Motion, 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 motion. Quick pass. He's to the 40. And he's level at the 45-yard line. The spike will stop the clock. Third and long here, and they hope to convert another one and keep this drive going. It's a short kick. And he can't hang on to the ball. Let's see if this drive has a more rewarding conclusion than their last, which ended with a punt. A little over a minute in the game. And a nice catch there before he stepped out of bounds. First and ten. Ball on the 22-yard line. Big play there, and now they're looking at first and goal. Quick strike to the receiver. Touchdown. still life. I don't see a comeback on the horizon, but there isn't any question they'll be seeing an onside kick. And he adds the extra point. at the 41-yard line. Well, that should pretty much do it for him. Well, at least these guys showed great effort. My hat goes off to these young men for playing so hard out there today. Here comes the offense, hoping to erase the memory of the fumble on their last drive. One general rule in any game is to hold on to the ball. If you're in the negative in the turnover department, your chances of winning decrease exponentially. From the 43-yard line, second down. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. The quarterback takes a knee, and that's always a good sign if you're a fan of this team. And the ball game's over. 
The Hilltoppers come out on top, 27-15. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit, this is Brad Nessler saying thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.